Hello and welcome to the Zenata Consulting tutorial series on Zoho Mail. Today we're going to talk about some settings that are, I think, critically important uh, once you're starting to use Zoho Mail. And so go up here to the settings tab. And once you're there, you usually the view you're going to get is all of these. Again, you're going to click on mail to kind of sort these down. And there are two I want to look at here, mail view options and compose. So if you click into mail view options, um, this is where you can say, I'd like to have the a vertical preview where you'll basically have all your emails running down the left hand side and the body of your email running down the right. Some people like it on the top. Some people like it in a new tab. Some people like it in a new window. They let you, uh, they let you do this. You can also do a re read receipt. You always want to know when someone's read your emails, you click that to always send. Do you want to load external images? Sure. Otherwise, you're going to have a little button that says, please load external images. Uh, do you like the 24-hour time format or the 12-hour time format? You can set there. How do you want to sort your folders over here on the side? Do you want to sort them alphabetically or do you want to sort them manually? If they're manually, it'll allow you to move them around. Uh, how do you want to uh, sort your tags? Again, alphabetically and manually. List your attachments below the email or above the email. It's a personal choice. You can choose however you like to see your attachments. Uh, do you want to show the messages in your inbox with a subject only, or would you like to see a little subject and summary? Uh, you've got a comment box. You can hide it or show it. So if you're doing a lot of collaboration, uh, you'll want to leave that comment box because one of the great things about Zoho Mail is you can actually just do an at Tyler, for example, and I could just make a comment and Tyler will be able to see that email. I don't have to forward it to him. I don't have to do anything. The comments right there. And then you just kind of have a running dialogue around that email. So if you want that, you're going to want to show the comment box. If you don't do any collaboration, you'll probably want to hide the comment box because it's not something uh, that you're going to use that much. Um, those are kind of the big ones that, you, that you're going to go there. And then, as I said, there's one other section, which is compose. And again, very similar, just one screen where you can set it all Every, everything all up. So do you want to uh, compose in line? Do you want to compose in a new tab? I love the new tab feature. It allows you to always have those emails. You can have four or five emails open at a time and be jumping back and forth and referring to them. So that's what I prefer. Uh, the default encoding is UTF-8. I'd pretty much leave it that way. Um, and when you get new emails, do you want to enrich text? Always. Um, most people aren't using plain text much anymore. And replies enrich text as well. Uh, and then use the same email address for which the email was sent. And this is really important. If you're using several aliases and you've got email coming into those aliases, and maybe you've got signatures set up for those aliases, we actually did uh, a tutorial on this, then you may want to say, hey, look, anytime someone sends me an email to support at brokenpretzel.com, when I reply, I want it to be from support and I want it to have the support signature. Uh, some people say, I don't care if I got all these aliases coming in. When I reply, I want it to go from my main email address. So make it be from the default email address every time. And your preferred text direction, uh, you know, if you're in... Uh, the western part of the world, you're going to want to left to right. If you are in the eastern part of the world, you're going to want right to left. Uh, anyway, and then of course you can have some various format options, what your font is going to be, what your basic font size is going to be. Those are the big ones that you'll want to set up. You can kind of go down the rest of these. They're very self-explanatory. Um, but those are two of kind of the key areas that you'll want to make sure you get set up as soon as you get your, uh, your, your Zoho mail up and running. Hey, we hope you found this useful. And if you want more information from us, please be sure to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. And don't forget our newsletter. Just go to zanata.com slash newsletter to subscribe to that. Every week, we give you all the latest and greatest Zoho news, tips, tutorials, and also a link to the CRM Zen show where we talk about all things Zoho every week. Thanks for listening.